Hello, hobby farmers, homesteaders, and chickenistas. Welcome to the Hobby Farm Guys. Brian, Steve, and Eric behind the scenes. Today, we'll tackle the topic of adding plants to your chicken run. Anyone who's had chickens for long understands the challenge of keeping plants alive in an area frequented by chickens. But it can be done. Choosing the right plants or employing the right tricks will be key, however. Plants can provide not only food, but shade, protection from wind and weather, areas of refuge, and beauty. Stick around to learn some tricks to keep plants alive and thriving in the chicken run and some specific examples of a few hardy, robust plants that make good options for the chicken run. Here we go. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You decide to get some chickens. Pick out the perfect spot for your coop and build an attached run where the chickens can spend their days frolicking in the beautiful green grass filled with clover and dandelions. And you've got a few flowers and some vegetables planted in the area for beauty and to provide your chickens something to nibble on. You put your chickens out in the run and enjoy the pastoral scene as they scamper through the grass hunting bugs. Fast forward two months and the entire area is bare dirt with a couple of stumpy twigs jutting out of the ground. Reality. Chickens are tough on plants. There's a reason why pastured poultry is big and why they have to be continuously rotated. Left in the same area, chickens will scratch up and wipe out almost every living thing they can reach. While chicken tractors out on the pasture are designed to be moved, those that keep chickens confined to a run typically don't have the option of rotating their run. It is where it is, and that means that it never gets a break from the chickens. And that means it's probably bare ground. Yeah. So is it possible to have plants in there? Is there anything that can survive the constant onslaught of scratching and pecking that comes with having chickens? Or are you condemned to see an ugly, bare patch of ground whenever you sneak a peek into your chicken run? There are advantages to having plants in your run. Landscaping blocks the visual line and sight of aerial and ground predators, provides shade and shelter from wind and rain, and attracts insects that chickens can eat. Plus, landscaping is more aesthetically pleasing. So let's talk about options. Keep in mind, if you've been trying to keep 12 chickens in a 40 square foot run 24-7, you're going to have a hard time keeping anything alive. The larger the area and the more time chickens get to spend outside of it, the easier it becomes. Right. Limiting access is the first trick to keeping plants alive near chickens. One trick that can be successfully used is to build chicken grazing boxes. Grazing boxes are simply elevated platforms built from scrap lumber and some wire mesh. Plant grass, grains, or other crops and then cover the ground with the grazing box. As the plants sprout and begin to grow, they're protected from the chickens and eventually they grow tall enough to poke through the wire top, allowing the chickens to graze on them while still keeping the roots of the plant safe. This provides some fresh forage and entertainment for your chickens, as well as habitat to support insects. As far as what to plant, because the roots are protected, you can grow most anything. We like quick growing grasses, which can include wheatgrass, oatgrass, barley grass, even most long grasses. You can provide several of these in the run and plant a variety of crops for your chickens. The next tip involves sectioning off an area or areas within the run and rotating the chickens the way you might rotate with a chicken tractor on a pasture. By preventing access to parts of the run during parts of the year, you give plants a chance to get up and going without having the chickens immediately rip them out of the ground. Now, this will be a temporary solution to an ongoing problem because once you open the area up, the, the chickens are going to immediately begin restoring it to its previous barren state. But even if it doesn't last, it provides temporary benefits. And if you have a few areas, you can stagger them to provide access to fresh plants for your chickens throughout a large part of the summer. Sunflowers are a good option here. Given a head start, sunflowers can often survive in a chicken run. Yeah, sunflowers have tougher stems and they can rapidly grow up and out of a chicken's reach. So if you plant them in the spring and provide them protection for a few weeks, they can survive in the run all summer and provide a mature head of seeds to feed back to the chickens in the fall. Next, as you plan your chicken run landscape, focus on native perennials. Look around. What grows naturally on your property in areas where other things don't? 
Native plants are more likely to thrive in tough-to-plant areas like a chicken coop. Even with hardy native plants, you'll need to plan on fencing off the plant as it gets established. Rocks or bricks around the bottom can protect the roots from being dug up by scratching And don't be afraid to go big. A small tree or shrub established in your coop can provide your birds with shade in the heat of the summer. Native plants will vary by region, so pay attention to what is growing around you. We'll mention a few common plants that grow well in many climates and tend to fare well in chicken runs once established. And we'll start with a beautiful perennial, the butterfly bush. Beautiful, they are also relatively fast growing, and chickens enjoy hanging out in the shade they provide and hunting the insects they attract. Another plant to consider is dogwood. One that I use at my house that I've had a decent success with are lilac bushes. Junipers can also be used as well as rose bushes. Chickens may clear the foliage in the lower parts of many of these plants, but they grow large enough to still produce a good looking plant. Many ornamental grasses also work. Being hardy with fibrous root balls, they tend to tolerate a fair amount of abuse from the chickens. And there are lots of other options here as well. Herbs are a popular and effective choice in many circumstances. Experiment and see what works for you, but do pay attention and do a little research on new plants prior to adding them to make sure they aren't toxic to chickens. The next chicken coop landscaping hack is to use your run as an arbor and growing vine plants up and over the run. Plants that vine up over and around the coop provide shade and once the plants are established, chickens generally leave the thick stems alone. And you can include plants like squash, pumpkins, and melons. Your chickens get to enjoy the shade provided by the plants through the hot summer and then as the produce ripens later in the year, you have a tasty and nutritious treat for you and your chickens. One last option is to use pots and planter boxes that can be placed in or move to protected areas. This allows you to add some color to your run, but if the chickens get too rambunctious, you can move the pot to a safe space for a few days and allow the plants to recover. Marigolds, calendula, and echinacea are great examples of flowers that can generally do well with chickens around them, but may need a break every now and again if the chickens are a bit too frisky. Adding some plants to your chicken run can not only beautify it, but make it more comfortable for you and your chickens by providing shade and other benefits. For example, flowers such as marigolds and herbs like mint and oregano can also repel flies and other insects. Just one more bonus to having plants in the run. It will take some work and there will definitely be a learning curve of what works and what didn't, but by using grazing boxes, limiting access to areas, focusing on hardy perennial plants, growing plants up and over the run, and utilizing pots, you can find ways to incorporate plants into the chicken run. We hope that if you enjoyed the video and learned something that'll help you out, you'll take two seconds and click those like and subscribe buttons. It helps us know what type of content people are interested in and it helps YouTube know that the video is worth recommending to others as well. We're trying to grow into something good here, but we can't do it without your help. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And remember, keep on hobby farming.